we don't want to fall into the mistake that the aqidah is Salafi. Okay, the aqidah, the aqidah, the aqidah, and the way you interact with people is not upon the way of the Salaf. The way in which you make da'wah is not on the way of the Salaf. Your manners are not the manners of a Salaf al Salih. Where are your akhlaq? Compare your akhlaq to the akhlaq of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You're not going to reach him, but follow in his footsteps. When you are wanting to make da'wah, remember that you have to do it with wisdom, with that which is best, with the best of manners, with good manners, with a lot of patience. يعني يا أخوة, بالله عليكم. يعني by Allah, when we see somebody who's making da'wah, and you see what he writes, he says, you filthy zindiq. لا. You're not making da'wah anymore, right? You're cussing now. When we see calling names, uh, judging people instantly, Wallahi ya ikhwa, sometimes they, they would be younger brothers, ages 17, 18, 20, and they are attacking one another. Attacking one another. And, and sometimes it turns to attacking everybody. Take it easy. Ya akhwa, take it easy. Take it easy. Wallahi, this is not wisdom. Take it easy. Barakallahu fikum. That's why I, I call on to my brothers that are posting and spreading the deen. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you all. I want to ask you, where are your good akhlaq? Where are your good manners? We have some, uh, <coughs> some we don't want to fall into the mistake that the aqidah is salafi. Okay, the aqidah, the aqidah, the aqidah, and the way you interact with people is not upon the way of the Salaf. The way in which you make da'wah is not on the way of the Salaf. Your manners are not the manners of a Salaf al Salih. Where are your akhlaq? Compare your akhlaq to the akhlaq of the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You're not going to reach him, but follow in his footsteps. Follow in his footsteps. Don't become the one who's harming. You have to be the one who's patient upon harm. People are harming you and you are patient and you are forgiving and you try to lead them to that which is better for them and with leniency and goodness. Now you are the one who's going and harming other people. Ya ikhwa, we need manners. Everyone needs manners. And what about the people that are involved in da'wah? So I remind myself before you and then I remind you, ya ikhwa, Let's be callers to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not be munafireen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, told us not to be munafireen. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded him to uh, so as well in the Quran. So we, when, uh, when this ummah is sent as a rahma, as a mercy to mankind, not as repugnant to mankind and repelling people from the deen of Allah azza wa jal, isn't it enough, ya ikhwah? What is being lied upon the Muslims that they are terrorists and that they do this and they do that and 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 what is worse are the the criminals from the mercy, from the Muslims that go on and do atrocities and ya ikhwa, we need to rectify ourselves and rectify our families and be callers to good manners and peace and the best the best interest of mankind and ya ikhwa, respect the elders imagine someone who's eighteen years old. He's, he's calling someone who's 60 years old a mubtadi, calling, calling him uh, uh, misguided, uh, calling him bad names, cussing him. What is this? The Messenger وسلم, informed us that it, he, the one who does not respect the one who is the shayba, the one who is elderly, who, who is the shayba, who, his hair turned gray, he's not from the Messenger وسلم. The Messenger وسلم, said, He's not from us. Nowadays, maybe we get some 18-year-olds, 21-year-olds, 17 year olds They are cussing someone who's 60 and 65. And Ya Akhi, he has children older, older than you. Ya Akhi, where are the akhlaq of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? You have to be Salafi in your akhlaq. You have to be Salafi in your ta'amul, in your way, in, in, in behaving with people and how you interact with people. You need to be Salafi. In, 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 in your samt, in the way you behave yourself as well, and how you indulge, and how you, you need to be Salafi 
in your da'wah. You need to be Salafi as sitting a role, being a role model to others. You need to be Salafi in all aspects of life. Imagine if you draw the picture that a Salafi is someone who cusses, someone who's ill-mannered, someone who repels others, someone who is uh, angry all the time, someone who does not smile, someone who does not... Uh, uh, Take people with leniency. Someone who has no wisdom. Someone, someone. Uh, people are going to hate Salafiyya. So it is not just the Aqeedah. It's every aspect of the religion. Ya ikhwa, even in fiqh, we want, we, we want that which is based upon Dalil. And we look at that which is most authentic. And that which has the, the Dalil. And, has, and, and we follow the Dalil. It's not like we're, it's just the Aqeedah. And then we ignore everything else. No problem. And our we, we don't follow the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and our manners and how we deal with people and, and uh, disrespecting the elders. and the, Subhanallah. And there is somebody who told me something. He said, he said there are sects and there are people of Bid'ah that are waiting. They are waiting for someone to go to them and say, look at these guys. How they are cussing and how re repugnant they are and re repelling and uh, and they will say, "Ha! Ah, didn't we tell you these?" And they start calling them names. They say, "These madkhalis." They say, "Didn't we call? Didn't we tell you? We told you." So now you are even harming what your fellow brothers from where you do not know. So yeah, akhwa, take it easy. Take it easy. Be, be, yeah. Look, you have to be man enough. To follow the, the messenger, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, it needs a man to follow the messenger, right? It need we have to be men enough to follow the sabil of the messengers in da'wah. We have to be true enough. You understand what I mean when I say man enough? You yani truthful and 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 enduring and patient and changing yourself. Wallahi, akhwa, I cannot emphasize this enough. Your nature is khalas. Maybe I just, I entered Islam um, recently. Maybe I am. You know, I just got religious recently, and my nature is that, for example, I am aggressive. I am. La, you need to change yourself now. You have to. You must. Look, you became religious in order to follow whom? Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Now you need to change yourself to the best of your ability, like Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He was lenient. We try to be lenient. We follow. We we try to follow him as. A, Look, when we follow the, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Sahaba and the Ulama and Salaf al-Salih and there are people that follow them, you know, running. That we are crawling. We are, we are trying. We are trying to follow. We do our best. We're trying. And we want to die upon the way. So, ya akhwa, realize this. Ya akhwa, we have, wallahi, we have reached the day and age where we, see, we are seeing the Salafis are fighting one another. Salafis, they're Salafis themselves. They're fighting one another and blocking one another and cussing one another. <laughs> la, la. You are qilla. Callers to the... To. Try to unite and love one another instead of dividing. Let's truly be the followers of the prophets, ya akhwa. Let's truly be the followers of the messengers and the prophets. Not just make mere claims and, and uh, study a little bit or watch uh, some aqidah lessons and then we want to fight with everyone and fight with... La, la. This, this is not the way. This is not the way. Look at the akhlaq of the Salaf as well and how they dealt and how patient they were and had their good manners as well. 